Hello, hello. So welcome to the second installment of About the Job. So I was thinking recently as I was sitting, um, this last week I was sick. And my voice is still a little unused, <laughs> so it sounds a little raw. Uh, but I was sitting, um, my policy is when I'm sick I do not eat with the students. So I was sitting there in the teacher's room at my desk eating and I realized that's something I don't think anyone was talked about and it was one of the things I was curious about <clears throat> during training and all that especially since um, uh, you'll hear maybe some people saying they hate the food or they love the food so I just had no idea but I'm talking about school lunch now um, my situation, and you'll, for those of you who are coming over soon or hoping to come over in the next year, whenever, uh, you will be asked, do you want school lunch? Because the um, option is you get school lunch. Um, they say it's cheap. It is cheap. I pay about 4460 a month. Uh, no matter how many days, if there's extra or less, it's that amount. Um, so that's not too bad for, you know, lunch every single weekday. And that helps my uh, food budget out. <laughs> but uh, you'll be asked, do that or bring your own lunch. Now, my, the other AOT works, who works with me uh, brings his own lunch. And there have been complaints about what he brings. I, like, the first thing the vice principal said when he was like, you're having lunch, right? I'm like, yeah. It's like, well, yeah, because he brings, like, convenience store food. Yeah, you'll be told this is not the way to go. That if you do bring lunch, it needs to look healthy and be presented. And I joked about getting like a cheeseburger and um, fries and putting it in the bento and make it look presentable. <laughs> but anyways, <clears throat> first off, I'm, what I can see, and I don't know if this changes if you actually are a vegetarian and you say you are, but Every single lunch I have had has fish or chicken or beef, shrimp, something. So if you absolutely don't eat meat and maybe you don't eat fish uh, or eggs and stuff like that, like vegan, um, you probably can't have the school lunch. If you have any allergies, speak up and say so because they will ask you. And, um, I don't know if this will stop you from being able to take the school lunch or if they'll somehow have a special like gluten-free lunch for you. Uh, so I found there have been uh, slightly hit and miss but more hit because I'm, I haven't been exposed to a lot of foods <laughs> in my life and like Japanese food is the one one way in uh, Japanese culture I have not ventured out too far. I don't kontatsu, okonomiyaki, you know, and I'm like, okay. Uh, but at least this is, and all this is for my area in my situation. And every situation is different, right? But this gives you a slight idea that you'll be a little more informed before you say yes. Because, um, it will take about a month to switch over to not getting the food. Uh, yeah, because I know someone else that just thought they serve pike, I guess, fish. Like, whenever I get fish, I have no idea about fish. So I'm like, oh, it's fish, okay. So I don't know what kind of fish it is. But, yeah, she didn't like the fact that they were feeding basically bait. That where she comes from, pike fish is like bait. Like, so she stopped eating just for lunch. But I find them really delicious. I, you know, in there's vegetables. It's usually well balanced, but higher in calorie. And what I mean by higher in calorie, uh, my junior high school is about high 700 to mid 900 calories for the meal. Uh, every meal comes with milk. 
that is the drink of choice. You get milk. Um, milk's a little different here for, especially maybe someone coming from the States where we have like 1%, 2% and whatnot. Uh, it's, I think the milk that they give us at school is like 3.5%. So it took a little getting used to because it was stronger. But now I love it. Uh, there are times there was no milk and we got a drinkable yogurt or yogurt in its place. And I just don't do yogurt. <laughs> uh, there's also times, usually, most of the time, you will get rice. It's to be expected, this is Japan. So you'll get rice and then everything else will change. Every now and then you may get bread. Or you may get uh, ramen where you have my meal, um, my school lunches always come with soup, some sort of soup, whether it's a pumpkin soup or it's miso or it's a thicker, creamier potato thing. Um, usually it always comes with soup. And so you'll get the soup and then you'll get noodles in the bag separate and you put the noodles in the soup and you have ramen. I don't like that. It's messy. It's hard to do because I don't eat, I really don't eat all the food, especially since it's high calorie. <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to watch that. Um, but also, because it's so new to me, it fills me up faster. So I usually don't eat all of it. Uh, like I don't eat the amount of rice they give you. It's just too much rice for me. So I would have half the noodles, and it's hard to separate half the noodles, and then you got to put it in the thing. So I just gave up no noodles and just say I don't like noodles, <laughs> and I just have the broth with whatever salad vegetable thing. Uh, sometimes you get fruit, like uh, kiwi is my favorite when they give us kiwi. But there has been an orange, there's been a uh, half an apple. Uh, sometimes you get fruit with that. So it's I find it very good. But the main part of this. Hopefully this is informs you more. Uh, since I started, I tried to remember and took pictures of my lunch before I ate it. Sometimes I was just hungry and I forgot. <laughs> but uh, here is a collage, I guess, with a little commentary, subtitles, of the pictures I have of my school lunch, just to give you a rough idea. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you found it helpful. If you have any other questions about um, the job, because I know I've been getting an increase of messages from people who are either subscribed to me or not subscribed to me, subscribe to me, sign up, uh, that ask me any questions about the job. Well, since I'm doing this job corner to give you more idea of what it's like, uh, go ahead. Any question, if you're just curious in general, whether you're coming over or not, you're like, huh, go ahead, uh, answer, uh, ask any questions. So, until next time, Jack.